everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Lululemon Everywhere Belt Bag Velour. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly, and so you can help the channel grow. I do want to let you guys know that I have reviewed many belt bags from Lululemon. I've reviewed the OG Everwear belt bag. I've reviewed the extended strap Everwear belt bag, the Everwear belt bag large, Everwear belt bag fleece, so many Everwear belt bags. So if you guys are interested in you know other versions of this bag, you can head over to my channel, Abby B Reviewing. I have a full Lululemon playlist where you can find all of those Everwear belt bag and Lululemon bag reviews. So I have this in the color black gold. So we can see that it's black with gold accents which I absolutely love. So when it comes to logos on this bag, we do have a few. First, we have this gold one right here, which I love. I love gold accents, guys, and we don't get them enough from Lululemon. Next, we have this silicone kind of patch right here. Next, we have the zipper pull right here where it says Lululemon. And then on the back here, we have this little Lululemon um, logo right on this little zipper pull here. So I'm gonna show you all around and inside the bag. So this is the front of the bag. This is the back. Notice it's smooth, no velour material back here. We do have a zippered pocket at the back. That's the inside there. Coming over to the inside. So we have a long mesh pocket on this side. We can see that there's a silicone logo. Coming over to the other side here, we do have a divided mesh pocket into two. And then we have some storage space in the middle. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me. All right guys, so this is what it looks like on me as a crossbody. And if you're someone who wears your belt bags, you know, at your back, this is what it would look like here. And of course, it being a belt bag, you can wear it as a belt bag across your waist. So when it comes to adjusting the strap here, it is a little bit stiff, so it can take a bit of time. And then pull, and here it is on me as a belt bag. You can definitely go ahead and wear higher, lower, depending on your preferences. As you guys can see, as I'm adjusting it, these fell off. So <laughs> these things fall off super easily. So I really like that you have, you know, the functionality to wear it as both a crossbody and as a belt bag. So when it comes to comfort, wearing this belt bag, not the most comfortable because the strap loosens up on itself a lot of the time for me. Especially when I'm wearing this belt bag, I notice it loosens a lot. If I'm wearing it as a crossbody bag, I typically just extend it to the max. I do have a larger chest, so the extra room for me is a good thing when I just kind of leave it extended to the absolute max. The strap's not the biggest deal to me because if I already have it extended to the max, it can't really extend more than that. But if you're someone who you need it to be smaller when you're wearing crossbody, you are most likely gonna notice the strap loosening up on you. And sometimes when the strap loosens up on you, these little slider things fall off and you end up with this little like hanging side tail thing and it's super annoying. All right guys, I hope you find it helpful seeing me try this on today. And now I'm gonna go into the major highlights about this bag. So it's great to wear on the go for casual wear, wearing for walks, shopping, and anywhere else you need to go to just carry your essentials. It's made of a soft velour fabric on the outside. On the back, once again, we do have a nice smooth fabric. It has multiple pockets for organization. It has a one liter capacity, which is great to hold all of your essentials. And I've gone ahead and measured out the strap for you guys. At the absolute max, it goes to 38 inches. And the strap at the absolute minimum goes to 23 inches. And the dimensions of this bag are 7.5 inches by two inches by five inches. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you what this belt bag can hold. You know what I would typically put inside of my everywhere belt bag. So, first thing I would do is put my phone in there. Once again, if you guys are following my channel, I have the Z Flip 4. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone in this back pocket here. Now this back pocket can fit almost every single smartphone on the market. And just to show you guys an example, when I flip this open, it can fit it this way as well. So next, on the other side of the bag, I'm going to go ahead and put in a hand sanitizer. I also have a hand lotion. I'm gonna put on the other pocket. 
Next, I got with me a little hair tie. I'm gonna put in this mesh pocket as well beside the lotion. Next, I have with me my car keys. I'm gonna put that in here as well, just in the middle area. Also in the middle area of the bag, I have with me my little mini wallet here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here as well. And finally, I have some post-it notes. I love carrying these with me when I'm shopping to make little lists. I'm someone who really likes kind of pen to paper over like digital lists on my phone. Now in the back pocket right here, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a pen. It is closed. I know some of you <laughs> said before like, hey, make sure your pens are closed. It's closed. And I have a little highlighter as well, which I will put in there. And that's everything that I would put in my everywhere belt bag here. And this is what it looks like when it is full. You can see that it does show, you know, a bit of the stuff protruding out of the sides, depending on what you have in here. If it is pretty full, you're going to see that. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna get into the zipper because if you are getting a bag that's $68, you want it to have a good zipper. So far, in my experience, the zipper has been solid, no hiccups or issues. Nice and smooth. And then the little back pocket here also has been smooth. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna get into the cons I've noticed about this belt bag. So the first con for me is that the velour fabric here does attract pet hair and lint quite easily. So you're gonna have to kind of brush it down continuously or lint roll it before use just to make sure it's looking good. Another con for me is the price. $68 is the most expensive ever belt bag I've ever had to buy and I hate it. I don't know why they're charging so much more than the original. You know, the ever belt bag used to be $38 and then with the new ever belt bag that came up, they raised it to $44. Even considering that, why is this $68? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> it's even more expensive than like the fleece ever about bag that came out. So yeah, I don't know who's in charge of the pricing, but I definitely do not like that there. Another con for me is that this buckle here just scratches very easily. I've had this for a month and I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but there's some light scratches on the buckle. Um, so it's just scratching very easily and I don't love that personally. And the final con for me is the strap here. So. I've said it once, I'm saying it again, I do not like the new strap that Lululemon has been putting out on their Everwear belt bags. <sighs> I don't like it at all, guys. It's just a hot mess for me. Uh, it's super annoying because I'm someone who loves to wear my belt bags as belt bags, you know? I wear them as crossbody sometimes, but primarily I wear them right across my waist as a belt bag. And if you're someone who also wears it like that, you're gonna run into strap issues because when you go ahead and you tighten up the strap, as you're walking throughout the day, it slowly just like loosens on you and loosens on you. And it just like, if you tighten it up here, by the end of the day, it will be like all the way down here and it will loosen on you. So it just kind of like when you're wearing it, it will hang down and it just flops around and it moves around. And it's something I find incredibly annoying. And I like to wear my belt bags tight because I don't want them moving around. And when they're moving around, you can get possible pilling if you have this rubbing up against your clothing if you're wearing delicate fabrics. So this strap to me is just super annoying. I will say, if you're someone who you wear your bags crossbody all the time and you have this strap like fully extended, you're probably not gonna have an issue with the strap at all because if you have it fully extended, I mean, it's not really gonna extend any more than that. And this is probably one of the only bags I am buying. I don't really buy the new Ever Belt bags because the straps drive me crazy, but the velour fabric here just really kind of like pulled me in, so I did buy it here. But once again, the strap is an issue, just as I said with the extended strap Ever Belt bag. Yeah, I do not love the new strap here. I don't want to rant about that anymore, but some people were asking me like why I don't like the new strap. That is why it's because it loosens on itself and it's not very secure. And all right guys, considering the price, the quality, the color, the comfort, the functionality, and everything like that, I would go ahead and give this a 7.4 out of 10. And I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are interested in getting the Lululemon Everywhere Belt Bag Velour, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. If you are interested in picking up this belt bag today, I would highly recommend that you get it sooner than later. I have seen it selling out pretty quickly online. And if there's anything I missed today that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.